Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel, Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and this is part 6 of Power BI Beginner to Pro Crash Course tutorial series. Now in this video, we are going to talk about data types in Power BI. So if you're following along to this tutorial series, in our previous videos, we have talked about uh, the basics of data transformations in Power BI. So we just started with the basics and uh, as we continue on the videos, we will talk about some advanced options. So without any further ado, let's get started with the data types in Power BI. All right, guys. So now we are into the Power BI report. And if you remember, as per the previous videos, how we fix the column headers in these two tables by going into the Power Query Editor. All right. So in order to talk about data types in Power BI, let me again take you to the Power Query Editor. And if I take you onto the orders table, and if you talk about the data types, then maybe you can click on this one, two, three. For example, we are talking about this row ID then you will notice it says one, two, three. However, in case of order ID, it says ABC. Now, this actually represents the data type of this particular column, following as the order date is a date type, and that's why there is a calendar icon. So how to change the data type? Simply, we can go ahead and click on this numbers, and it will provide us the list of data types available in Power BI. So let's talk about each data type one by one. First of all, the decimal numbers. So the decimal numbers are actually a 64 bit uh, float numbers. So if you have any number following any uh, decimal digits, then you should be using them as a decimal. Now, whenever you will import any data into Power BI, Power BI will explicitly transform it into the best suited data type, though sometimes it does not understand it and you might have to check it and change it as per your requirement. Also, changing data type is very crucial and very important when it comes to writing DAX because some DAX may not understand or may not work properly if you are calculating, you know, a number with a text or vice versa, right? So having a correct data type is very important when it comes to performance, writing DAX and getting the best results from Power BI visualizations. All right, so coming back to the decimal de decimal numbers, these are the floating numbers. Wherever you want to represent number with couple of decimals, then you should be using the decimal number. Talking about the fixed decimal number. Now, fixed decimal numbers actually provide us actually the four decimal digits on the right side. So for example, if you have a value one point, then it will say one, two, three, four. It will not go beyond four decimal digits. So by fixing it, actually it increases the accuracy or if there are some other calculation requirement where you need some fixed decimal numbers, for example, in terms of currency calculation, then you should be, you know, using this fixed decimal number. What is the whole number? So whole number is any uh, integer which does not have any decimal numbers. For example, the one you can see right now, the row ID, it does not have any decimals and that's why it is a whole number. Now, percentage is as obvious, it's a percentage value. It will be represented with a percentage icon. So these four categories kind of, these three categories are kind of numbers. Now talking about date types. So first one represents date time. So if I like come on the ship date and make it as a date time and add a new step, you would notice that Power BI has added along with the date, a timestamp into it. Now, because there was no time entered into the data type, Power BI has explicitly, you know, added 12.000 AM, right? So there was no time, but it has added a timestamp because we want to, you know, display it as a date time. Now making it as only date will make it only a date column. There would be no values for the time will be displayed. So it's kind, kind of very simple. Talking about time, when we will make any any particular column value as a time, then there will be no space for date. Only time will be displayed. For example, if I choose make it as a time, now there is no time, then it might give an error, right? But uh, if we have a time only column, then maybe we can use to show this data type. 
Now talking about date, time and time zones. So again, I don't have any good example to display this time zone example right now. But if I go ahead and make it as a time zone, then you would notice it has added plus 530. Now what it does in the background, it actually compares the current time based to the UTC, which is universal time zone, right? So it, it will display how much time does it offset the time in which you are, for example, if you have set up your report as per the maybe Indian locale or maybe as per the USA locale, then it will you know display how much the time entered into this report is offset from the universal time zone. Now, one thing you should be mindful about it over here is that uh, once it is updated as per the locale settings that you have done in your report, it will not be updated. For example, if you have set up it as per the USA time zone, then maybe if your viewer is watching this report into Australia or maybe in India, then this time zone uh, value differentiation will not update accordingly. It will stay as you have set up while doing this data transformation in Power Query Editor. All right, now talking about the text, text is as it is. So for example, we want to make something as a text value, for example, in order ID, we have a couple of string, the numbers, and all together we want to treat it as an, as an X string value. So that's why it is text value. Now talking about true and false, it's uh, quite obvious. It's a true or false, whether a value would be true or false. And then the binary type. So binary type is going to be representing any binary value. For example, if you are importing any file into Power Query Editor, then it will be represented as binary. Now, again, few things to be noticed. Binary and time zones value may not support into the report viewer. So for example, you can set it up here, but once you will go into the report view, these things you won't be able to change. So for example, if you want to change the data types, if I go ahead and close it, and maybe let's select date, order date here, I can change the data types from here, for example, formats and sorry, I can select the order date. And if I want to change the data type from here, those options will not be available. For example, I cannot select the option of time zones. So this is one thing that you should notice. All right, so these are the couple of data types in Power BI. Uh, apart from that, talking about some specific data type is blank values as well. If I take you to the document from uh, Microsoft, Power BI also takes blanks as a data type because whenever there is some nulls, if you're importing any data from SQL, then those nulls will be treated as a blank data type. Now Power BI also treat tables as a data type because there are a couple of DAX which accepts a value in form of a table or take the table as an input, right? So in that situation, tables are also treated as a data type. But let's not talk about them in details as of now, it might confuse you. So that's all about the data types in Power BI. Uh, in our upcoming videos, we'll continue to talk about data transformations and setting up relationships in the Power BI. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.